guys just brought the package one more again for this Rise Wednesday. Um, today was a pretty good day. Um, I had uh, basically been on a roller coaster today, um, basically uh, holding on to the ride of, you know, the ride of the joy of this wonderful life. And um, it was just crazy for the last, you know, few days. I've been seeing a lot of sevens a lot of nines and a lot of threes. Everything keeps on coming up a lot of 333, 333. Um, and I've been seeing uh, the envision of doves, you know, um, just flying off in front of me and, you know, just picturing doves a lot. And um, finally today, you know, because I read up on a lot of my numbers, some of them I know by heart if I keep seeing them a lot, but um, it was uh, a situation that was going on. It told me it was not a negative or it's not a positive. You just have to look at it for what it is. And I knew it was a test, um, basically, to see how I was going to react. You know, if I was going to get back in my comfort zone, you know. And it was just like a speed bump. And um, and I had to just go over and keep it moving. You know, I'm like, okay, what else you got? You know, um, but it's just making me learn how, you know, I had to have self-control, you know, no matter what has been thrown at you, you know, you always have to, you know, it's, it's neither, an, it could be a negative thing towards you, it's just basically how you look at it, you know, and I had to look at it, it was just like, you know, um, I felt kind of down about the situation, but then I had to, you know what, I'm going on and doing what I have to do, you know, you have to look at it like it was, and like my, you know, my sacred nine's message said from the archangel, you know, it's a, a emotional uh, thing that's going to happen. It's neither negative or positive, but it's going to it's going to do a major major shift. And I knew um, for the last couple of days, it was just like I know there's something going on, and it goes goes on every day. You know, and it was just like it could be a good thing, or you know, it didn't even have to be a bad thing. It's just as long as you know what you you know you got out of that situation. You know, I had to tell my daughter today. You know, um, things happen to us for a reason, and we, you know, you're going to keep on constantly going through it. It's like the grand, groundhog effect or the Scrooge, <laughs> you know, if you, um, it just seems like you're doing a repetitive thing. But, you know, obviously, if you keep going through that thing, it's something that you have to, you know, pinpoint and say, okay, is this something that I want to keep continuing doing or do I want to do something better and, you know, and step up to the next stage in life, you know, and it, it just, it's just like our lives right now, what's well, always been, it's just like a video game, you know, you go through the first stage, and you know, you might get gobbled up by something, might get stomped, or not become kicked, or something like that, but you get, get to that purpose, it's like, well, okay, you've been through this life, you know, which what, what things to look out for, so you know how to win that to get to the next stage, and that's why I feel like we're going through, you know, and I told her, it's just like, you can go through something and you can't just look at it, you know, like, oh, I never met this, you know, I hate that I met this person. I wish I could turn back time and everything happens for a reason because you have to learn. You're, you're always learning things from different people and it's always now, it's like I don't never look at anything that I came across as being negative. I always looked at it for, you know what, that's a blessing and it's just like if it's something bad, you can learn from it and just know not to do it again. But it just, you know, when it pops up again in your life, you know how to handle it. So it was just like, um, I was reading 333 and went up to the angel meetings of uh, uh, Miss Doreen Virtue. And it was exactly what I said on my video yesterday about the movie As, As Above, So Below. And, you know, I kept on seeing 333 and it's like um, the personal connection with God and it's about the Holy Trinity, like the mind, body, and spirit. So I was just like, wow, you know, I knew the mind, body, and spirit part, but I forgot about the as, as above, so below, you know, what is in, is so is out, you know, um, you have to learn thyself. So it was, I mean, I know that I'm getting stronger in the things that I'm going through, and I'm glad I'm going through it. Because it's just like, you know, no matter what has been thrown at me, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> you know, I'm determined to get back home. I'm determined to be abundantly happy, you know, emotionally, mentally, and physically. You know, and I'm able to do that now when um, you seem like you don't have anything. 
you know, you got to start off from somewhere. So, you know, I was just coming back to tell you guys, you know, you know, no matter what's been thrown at you, you know, it's just a speed bump. Just look at it for what it is and keep it moving. You know, you don't have to stop and give up. Don't ever give up. You, you know, it just seems like um, things happen to us and it, you don't realize how close you are to your blessing because it can be right there. And then you just say, you know what, the heck with it. You know, I'm done. I don't want to deal with it no more. And you could be right there. So it's just like, you know, people tell me, oh, you shouldn't do the YouTube videos or you shouldn't be doing that. I feel good for what I do. You know, um, I might not have like a you know, a million subscribers and, you know, a thousand views or whatever, you know, I'm just starting. So, you know, you have to always start from somewhere. But if I know that this is therapeutic for me and it's working and I know that I can have some viewers that comes in, you know, watch my videos. Thank you so much. I tell everybody in my videos that watch, you know, thank you for watching my videos. And I hope you're able to take something out of it that, you know, that can maybe help you or, you know, somebody's going through things, you know, we, we go through you know, some sort of depression, you know, I had to get out of my comfort zone, it's just like, you know, I was thinking, oh, you have to get out of the house, but you do, you, um, it, it's just like, I, I read a video, well, I actually watched a video on, um, you know, when, you know, I was just like, dad, what is your comfort zone, what, you know, you know, what, what is exactly your comfort zone? It can be your way of thinking, the way you do things, or how you react to it, you don't, you don't want to go through, to go through that, um, you can basically have like your comfort zone and go ahead and expand it. You know, I try to not stay in one place all the time. I just try to keep keep moving, keep you know, keep myself busy. You know, even though um, I might have visions of stuff that happened in my past, you know, and you know, back when I used to think about it, you know, it used to really hurt me. So I knew I had it physically healed from it. But now I can look at it like, okay, you know, okay, this happened, or it's gonna be something that I didn't know. I just probably caught the tail end of and then I just see where it was from the big picture like okay from a different point point of view or different perspective like a vantage point you know all these different directions and I'm just like, oh, okay you know and that was messed up but you know I just learn from it and move on and, you know that's what we have to do in life you know you know if you don't want to be stuck in the same same situation or whatever you know, you have a job that you just dread going to every day, you better quit that mess because it's just like, it's going to wreck your nerves. So I've been at plenty of jobs where I just felt like I was going to just pull my hair out and just say, you know, I don't want to be there so, no more. Now it's just like, I'm not at my, my little miserable job anymore. And I'm just like, you know what? I might not be where I'm at right now, but at least I can say I got peace of mind. You know, um, so I'm not about to take up you guys, you know, day or time or anything like that, you know. Um, keep it moving, stay blessed, stay safe, you know, if you want to do good, do, you know, you want a good outcome, do good for everybody, you know, no matter if it's somebody that's mean to you, still be nice, you know, don't let them steal your joy, you know, like my dad said all the time, love your enemies, that's what I'm doing, just loving them, I love the people that love me back, and I love the people that don't love me back, <laughs> but it's still okay, because it just shows how my heart and my character is, you know, not everybody's going to be like me. You know, um, I had to just take them for where they work, and you know, if they're decided, you know, they they work being in my life for it, then that's okay. And if it's not, you know, thank you for the experience, but I got to go. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and be wow.